In this lesson, we'll take a look at how we can set up the touch strip or touch ring to work with Mudbox. So again, the touch strip or the touch ring is going to be located here on the side. Uh, in the case of this particular Cintiq, the touch strip is going to be on the back of here. So imagine you're resting your hand on here with your thumb kind of up here. Your fingers are going to be curling around the back side of the Cintiq and they're going to automatically sort of come in contact with this sort of touch strip on the back and it's going to be on both sides of our pen display. If you're working with a tablet you may have a ring instead of a strip in which case you'd have the toggle in the center and then you'd have a sort of touch ring surface to go around in a circle like this rather than up and down as the touch strip does. Okay, So that's what we're talking about as far as the touch strip. In order to program it we need to think about what we can use it for. So the way that the touch strip and a touch ring works is that you take your finger and you sort of move up and down. So one end you'll push it up to to do some sort of action and you go back the other way to do something else. Same thing with the ring except you'll be going in a circle one direction and then another direction. So I think it makes sense in our case to actually program this to change the brush size. So right now we can hold down the B key and use our left mouse to change the brush size which is nice and we could uh, assign one of our express keys to be the B key but we can also increment our brush size by using the bracket keys which are kind of common to other applications so I'm just choosing the close bracket to increase the brush size and the open bracket to decrease the brush size okay so we have two keys that we can use to alternatively increase or decrease the brush size so we can actually assign those to our touch strip so let's take a look at that using our tablet properties let's go into functions and we want to make sure that we have mud box selected and then we'll activate the touch strip tab Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that everything is default for that. Now you'll see here that it's sort of giving you an illustration of where that touch strip is. So assuming these are our express keys, here's the toggle, and then here's the touch strip sort of on the back. Now we have four different rows here, and we also have two buttons for left and right. So depending on, again, your hardware, you may only have a touch strip or a touch ring on one side. This particular piece has it on both sides, so you can change left and right. And we also have different modes that we can use. So instead of being stuck with just one option for using this touch strip, we can actually have four different ways of setting this up. So we'll start with the first one. And we go into our drop down and we can set it for uh, scrolling or rotating. But what we want to do is actually set it to a keystroke. So let's go ahead and activate keystroke. And this is telling us when we go up, it's going to be using this key. And when we slide our finger down on it, it's going to be using this key. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose the closed bracket and then the open bracket here. And I'll call this brush size. So we'll go ahead and name it. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And now you can see that the rest of these have already, they're by default cycle layers. And then there's one already for brush size here. Then rotate. You can disable these if you want. So I can come in and disable the ones that I'm not using currently. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I'll move this off. And now we can come in here. And if I hit this uh, toggle button on the side that we talked about between our express keys, you can get an indication. It'll actually tell you which one you're on. So right now, I'm on brush size. And you can see I can toggle through these. OK, so I can toggle through the different modes. So I'll go to brush size. Now with my fingers resting, again, my thumb's still on the toggle. My fingers are underneath. I'm sliding them down towards the base of the tablet and I'm sliding them back up. So you can see I can very quickly change the size of the brush without even having to move over to the keyboard to hold down the B key. So I can sort of sculpt along. Let me undo that. And I can sculpt along and then sort of change the, the brush size as I'm going. And I don't have to stop what I'm doing. Um, and I don't have to reach over and hit any hotkeys. I can just very quickly go up and down just by sliding my finger. Now you can also change how this behaves. So if I set this to a slow speed over here on the slider, come back in here. Okay, now I'm having to slide multiple times. So one, two, three, four, five, six slides of my finger all the way from the bottom of the touch strip to the top just to get that much of a change. So if you want to have more control over it, you know, you can say, okay, I want to have multiple slides are going to cause me to, to change the brush size. 
Alternatively, you can set this speed to fast. Okay, and now I can go. Let me go ahead and make sure that's. Oops. Make sure and set that back. Try this now. Okay, hold on just a second. There we go. Just need to make sure I've got the mud box brought to the front. Um, so now I'm going from the bottom of the touch strip to the top, and it's taking me all the way to this large brush size. I don't have to go multiple slides on there. So the the speed at which you can uh, change whatever value you have in here can be determined by this slider in here, whether you want very fine control or you want to be able to change it, um, have a wide range of uh, size changes based on one particular slide. Okay. Now another thing that we could do that maybe is useful is to actually move up and down our subdivision levels. And we could actually do that with our touch strip as well. So if we came in here and cho uh, let's choose keystroke. Let's go ahead and clear out the ones that are in there. And let's go ahead and choose page up and page down. The hotkeys for moving up and down subdivision levels. And let's just call this levels. All right. And so now when we hit our toggle, let me go back here, make sure that I highlight mud box. And you can see that we have now levels and brush size. Okay. So on brush size, I'm changing the brush size. Now I can just with my thumb hit the toggle and back down to levels. Now when I come down, you can see I'm actually moving down subdivision levels. So I can come down here, maybe make a change, then with my touch strip, just very quickly move back up and down the levels. Move back back up here, maybe modify that. Oh, I want to change it, go back down. Again, just by sliding my finger along that touch strip. So not having to divert my attention to a keyboard or or actually even look away at all. Um, you can go ahead and change that uh, touch strip to, to kind of cycle up and down your subdivision levels. Those are just a couple of ideas. Uh, the brush size, uh, the subdivision levels. You've got two other options here just for the left-hand side if you're using a Cintiq uh, or if you're using a tablet, you'll have two more options here. If you're using a Cintiq, you'll have two more plus the four on the other side to work with. Uh, I am right-handed, so I'm holding the grip pin in my right hand. That makes it more convenient for me to use the touch strip on the left-hand side versus the one on the right where I'd have to actually move my hand with the pen over to the right-hand side, make that change, and then move my pen back here. I can leave it where it is, make that change, and continue on with the work that we're doing. So it, depending on your uh, left or right-handedness and the hardware that you have, you can set that up in different ways. But that is how you set up your, uh, your touch strip. Okay, just make sure to go in, set your keystrokes, and then based on the direction, it's going to go ahead and activate this key or this key and enable you to make those changes. And I find in Mudbox, making the brush size part of that is uh, a good thing to do. Okay, so the next thing that we want to take a look at now that we've talked about the brush, I'm sorry, the, uh, the touch strip or touch ring, depending on what you have, is... Uh, setting up express keys. So express keys are going to be really valuable because they allow us to move even more of the work that we do on our keyboard onto our actual tablet or pen display so that we don't, again, have to divert our attention.